All right, so the high temperature today was 67 degrees. How long has it been since it's been that cool for a day? Can you remember? Think back, think back. You have to go all the way back to March the 13th. We'll get this stuff out of the way so you can see it there. Our coolest day since March the 13th, so about seven months, and we only had six cooler days than this the entire year. It's amazing. It was cool today, and boy, what a change from what we've been seeing. So at least one day of fall, now we'll be back to what we were pretty quickly. But in the meantime, here's where we are at this hour. There's that 67. That's the high for the day in Westlaco. McAllen hit 68. So did Raymondville, Harlingen. Brownsville on the island, a little bit warmer, 67 in Rio Grande City. Our lows tonight don't go much of anywhere. We probably hold steady, maybe back into the mid-60s. The island stays at 70 with on and off Patchy light rain and drizzle, nothing big. And then here we go. Look at this. Tomorrow, the fun's over. Back in the 80s again. 86 in Brownsville, 85 on the island. Probably a few showers around, yes, but not as active as what it was today. I think we see at least a little bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Not a lot, but a little bit. And that helps warm temperatures back to an average high of 83. The seasonal average right now is 88. And we should be above that by Friday. And by Saturday, we're back to 90. The records are not going to be threatened, but we're back above normal by the end of the week. The moisture right now is offshore. There's not much over the valley except ground clutter, maybe a little bit of mist, but not much more than that. Just a wipers on, wipers off kind of thing. If you're driving around, you just don't see much. But there'll be enough moisture overnight that uh, the sidewalk, the driveway may be wet when you wake up in the morning. And it'll be a cool start. Tomorrow morning will start like today, but any jackets you take with you early, get rid of because by afternoon, I think we're going to see at least a little bit of sunshine. There you see some breaks and warmer temperatures with readings climbing back up into the 80s as we showed you once again. But again, maybe a little bit of afternoon sunshine. Go for Friday. Still a shower possible, but not widespread. I think we're looking at scattered stuff on Friday. A little bit of sunshine, warmer yet, and Saturday, spotty showers likely again. Your rain chances, 30, 20, 10 the next three days, so they kind of stair-step down. Picture shows all the clouds over the area. Push it back and look for anything else, and most of Texas enjoyed sunshine today. The front down to the southeast of us, it's cool today, cool tonight, but tomorrow we start the warming trend, which will last all the way through the weekend. Our next front, our next major weather maker coming into the picture, top of the screen, that due into the valley. It looks like probably Sunday night, early Monday. That will bring some changes then. So for tonight, 64 for a low under cloudy skies and a little drizzle from time to time. Then tomorrow back up to 83, a spotty shower. Northeasterly winds about 5 to 15. Here we go, 83, 88, 89. I hope you enjoyed the one cool day, Dina. Yes, I loved it. You know, fall didn't last long. Fall came on a Wednesday Short this year. Short-lived, but I enjoyed every minute of it. We'll get you another one eventually, but hard to believe, as you look at these numbers, hard to believe that we've only had six days cooler than this the entire year. Yeah, we That's had a very amazing. warm winter We last did. Year. Very, we had one really cold day, cold night, uh -huh. but other than that, this is about as cold as it was all winter, so uh, it's amazing. Only well, we're six hoping days for more days. cold days. I'll work on that for you. All right, thanks so <laughs> much, Tiff. And Brandon here with some news on women's basketball.